Moderna has begun human clinical trials for an HIV vaccine that uses the same mRNA technology used to develop its COVID-19 vaccine. Scientists say this is the second big test for mRNA. It passed the first one with flying colors uh, in the COVID vaccines. So I'm curious to see whether this technology has got more legs. The trial has been conducted in partnership with the International AIDS Vaccine Initiative, or IAVI. In a statement, the organization's president said the search for an HIV vaccine has been long and challenging, and having new tools in terms of immunogens and platforms could be the key to making rapid progress toward an urgently needed effective HIV vaccine. Thanks to the success of antivirals, HIV is no longer a death sentence, as it often was in the 1980s and 90s. Today, many people with HIV can lead relatively normal lives, but there are still tremendous financial and social costs related to managing HIV, and many HIV-positive people struggle with stigma. When you're HIV-infected, you have a scarlet letter on you, and you navigate the world in a very different way, and others see you in a very different way as well. So I, I think um, it's so much easier on multiple fronts to prevent an, inf uh, an infection than to treat it. Moderna's approach uses mRNA to deliver the instructions for HIV-specific antigens. The hope is that the body will recognize the virus and create an immune response to it once it is exposed to it. Experts say the challenge with HIV is that it's a much more complex virus than SARS-CoV-2. It's smarter, it's wilier, uh, it's less predictable, and it uh, changes shape uh, during the course of infection. But mRNA has an advantage. The technology allows scientists to rapidly test and develop new vaccines. Essentially, it takes a lot of the potential for failure out of the vaccine making process. Vaccines don't always fail because they're bad ideas. Sometimes they fail because they're hard to make or slow to produce. The final version of Moderna's mRNA COVID-19 vaccine was developed just days after Chinese scientists released the genetic sequence for SARS-CoV-2. The hope is that the same mRNA technology can be used to speed up development of vaccines for other viruses, including HIV. If successful, it would be a game changer. Karina Huber, CGTN, Boston.